<laughs> Under the mask. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Actually, this is good because I can actually use this as one of the videos um, for how to make a, um, a, a tray for people. Okay, what we have made here is a drip tray um, for the aquarium and it'll catch the condensation or any leaks if the aquarium develops them at a later time okay and what happens is is that uh, we've used this uh, 45 uh, millimeter uh, rubber liner uh, from Firestone that's uh, sold at pond stores and online and we have a drip location here anywhere you can locate the drip anywhere you want um, you know that works for you and we'll place a bucket underneath of it and then uh, cut the the flap that's left there you know to make uh, the thing work uh, drip to the bucket so <clears throat> right now we have the pad I mean the insulation board cut for the bottom of the aquarium and we left um, on the three sides that are the, the two sides and the rear, um, we've left at least an inch spacing for the uh, one inch insulation board. In the front, I suggest that you leave at least a half an inch to an inch. It depends on what you want. That way the, the water can, uh, the condensation can drip right all the way down to the bottom. So I think since we've got plenty of room, uh, Chuck, does it work out with you if we leave another inch? Can you like make a frame that goes inside? Yeah, okay. So that, that is what we're gonna do. Um, so this here um, tray is made out of uh, two by two uh, by eight, uh, just regular uh, pine wood. And then we uh, capped it off with a um, one and a half inch uh, fern strips that are uh, three quarters of an inch uh, thick. Basically, that's just to hold the liner in place uh, after we stapled it in, in place. Also, you can form nice corners by um, using the foam board to make nice square uh, corners in the, uh, uh, in the uh, tray. Yeah. So the whole idea is, is just that we have a tray here that's waterproof that'll catch any water that... Uh, condensates or drips off the aquarium and uh, goes into a bucket. Now one other thing I did in mine, I actually made mine bigger than the aquarium and I put my filter on there. Even though it's a gravity filter, those fluvals, I have uh, several of them that have in look, different places run at the same level as the aquarium. So I have my fluval on included in the tray too. So any leaks there or when you're working on it, it catches that. 